all right hello hello welcome to heal and ascend to row so i hope everyone is doing well today is going to be your pick a card reading so we're going to take a look and see how does the person on your mind feel about you at this present moment if you guys want to book something personal i do have 20 dollars off readings the information is going to be down below in the description box okay but let's jump in so we have pile number one pile two and pile three so we're going to start off with this crystal here and i'm just going to move these over okay so if you guys chose this crystal let's find out how does this person that you're thinking about how do they feel about you right now what is their energy towards you what is this person's energy oh okay we're gonna take that one because it fell out so we've got the ace of cups we've got the three of cups the devil could be a capricorn you could be or they could be and we've got the six of wands okay so i just i'm right off the bat i'm getting a message about this person really likes to show you off or they're hoping that they can kind of show you off i'm getting a very like um it's not to say that this person doesn't have genuine feelings i'm not going to say that but i am getting a little bit of like an ego kind of you give this person a bit of an ego boost that is one thing that i'm getting like you know potentially walking around with you this person may see you as someone who's kind of like arm candy to them in some way again doesn't mean they don't have feelings but that's kind of what that was the first thing that came to mind with this energy okay um this person is very highly attracted to you okay this feels like someone who is feeling almost obsessed with you and very infatuated with you so i don't know how far along you are in connection with this person i don't know if you're even with this person but they're very much in this energy of like thinking about you all the time potentially wanting to be with you all the time or that's their energy right now i feel like this person wants to take you out they want to have fun they're in this very like light-hearted energy is what i'm getting so i don't know if this is newer or they're just that's how they're approaching this connection i'm just getting that this person just wants to go have fun they want to like you know just get to know you more enjoy each other's time but specifically they they really want to be out with you like because this person sees you as someone who it sounds so bad but it's it's that's what i'm picking up it's like you boost this person's ego like they feel very good to you know be around you and to have people see them with you um so i'm not sure if this person is insecure and that's why they're kind of you know potentially viewing you in that way their interest is there though for sure they do have feelings for you with that ace of cups this to me feels more of like a newer energy let's see how does this person feel yeah okay they may be a bit this person may be a bit clingy we have the desperate card so they could be acting desperate or this is what they're feeling so they may be good at hiding this but i'm seeing that this person is definitely feeling like um almost desperate for you like they don't want to lose you they're obsessing it feels like they're clinging on in a sense even though they may not be showing you this so this could be happening behind the scenes maybe they're good at kind of controlling what's actually what they're actually feeling for you but it's almost like yeah this person they may be a bit possessive as well this person may be so afraid of losing you and it may start to kind of spill out in their actions is what i'm picking up on let me clarify desperate. the four of swords yeah they don't want to lose you for some of you guys if you are not communicating with this person it is like really affecting them okay because they just keep thinking about who they're gonna lose you to um is one thing for some of you some of you guys may be ignoring this person because they may be coming on too strong as well as what i'm feeling yeah this person does actually want something with you this person kind of wants to tie you down but mainly so that no one else can have you what's this person's message this could be a taurus as well with the hierophant coming through what is this person's message for you I'm sorry, I ghosted you. Okay, so remember I was saying something about like someone might have stopped communicating? Like this Four of Swords, so this person, do they ghost you guys? And now they're worried that they, they might have messed it up with you? Let's clarify this. Let's see. I'm sorry, I ghosted Some of you, this person is like legit obsessed with you, but you would have no idea because they ghosted you for some odd reason. Why is this coming through? Yeah, this person stopped giving to you. Six of pentacles in reverse. Maybe they got freaked out about commitment. 
For some of you, this person might have ghosted you because they started freaking out, thinking that maybe you're wanting commitment, or maybe they have a fear around commitment. But this person is actually like seriously crazy about you. So this is interesting. Yeah, it keeps telling me that they're, they've, they've stopped communicating. So that's really odd to see all these cards. It's told, it's told me that three times. Page of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles in reverse, and the Four of Swords is like holding back communication, not reaching out, could even be ghosted. So I'm sorry. So this person does apologize for ghosting you. It's so interesting because you guys probably would have no idea. But this is how this person is feeling. Okay, so I hope that resonated. If it did, leave a comment down below. If you want to book something personal, my information is in the description box. Okay, let's move on to pile number two. Okay, so let's find out how does this person on your mind feel about you right now? How does this person feel about you? How does this person feel about you? Hey, we got the Four of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and we've got the Fool. Okay, let's grab a mixed emotion as well. And we've got Powerless, okay. Paralyzed, ineffective, and weak. So this is sort of like the Eight of Swords in the tarot deck. This could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or you could be. Okay, so I'm kind of getting something very interesting here. I feel like you had a connection with this person and you might have communicated to them either directly or indirectly that you wanted something more. You wanted to commit or you wanted to take things to the next level. You were looking for more stability in this connection and I feel like this person was taking too long to get to that point with you. Like they were stalling or they were just... They weren't, um, they weren't going at the same time, like in the same time frame as you when it comes to moving things along. And I feel like because of this, you guys stopped giving to this person. Like you completely turned your back on this person. So I'm kind of seeing this Knight of Pentacles as them and see how he's coming towards this Queen of Swords. But she's like, no, she's turned her whole back away body language wise. And he's coming up behind like, okay, but I've got this offer for you. I know I'm taking forever, but I'm trying to get to you. And she's like, it's too late. So I feel like this person is feeling very like defeated. They're feeling very powerless because they almost know that they like they want to be able to make you an offer, but they they have something that is making them delayed. Like even if they wanted to rush towards you, there's something that's stopping them from doing this, and they move at a very slow pace. And they're recognizing that they're losing you by not getting things moving. So I feel like this person is ready to just take a leap of faith with the fool here and just take a risk when it comes to you. I feel like this is gonna be different for this person because this is someone who's very methodical, who likes to take a lot of time when it comes to love, but because they don't wanna lose you, I feel like this person is going to shake things up and do things differently, and they're going to just do whatever they need to do to get to that point where they're ready for what you're ready for. Because they feel like they've lost you and they feel powerless to this. Seven of Swords. So it could be that this person, um, played games with you, to be quite honest. They might not have taken you seriously or they might have given you the impression that they weren't taking you seriously. Now they feel like you're slipping away. Like you're sneaking away, you're moving on. Maybe you've taken your energy back. Like for a lot of you, I'm feeling like it's not even that you walked away. It's literally just that you have taken your energy back. Like you're not focusing on this person and energetically they can feel it. Like they can really feel this and they're really drawn to you right now. So for those of you who are really just focusing on yourself and you've stopped thinking about this person, you've stopped trying to change them and you're just living your own life, trust me when I say people can pick up on energy. Whether they're consciously aware of it or not, this person can feel this. They feel like you're slipping through their fingers at this point and they feel very powerless. I want to see why they're so slow though. Like what is this? Why does this person move so slow? Yeah, see, it has to do with commitment. It's like the second commitment is on the table, this person starts to stall or they start to freak out. Let's see. What does this person want to say? You turn me on so much. 
yeah makes sense with this empress energy this person is highly attracted to you right now and that's why they're like i need to do whatever i need to do to figure out how i can get over this fear of commitment yeah see i want to try this again right i think this person in the past messed up they weren't moving fast enough for you they were taking too long and now they're at this point where they're like i need to do this i need to fix this i need to get over this fear of commitment that i have because i want to try this again okay so that is what i have for pile number two so i hope that resonated for you guys let's move on to pile number three so i believe it is this crystal here the purple okay so let's take a look and see how does this person on your mind currently feel about you at this time how does the person on your mind currently feel about you at this time We've got the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have the High Priestess, the Two of Cups, and we've got two cards. Ooh, the Lovers and the Nine of Swords coming out together. So you guys got one extra card than the other piles. Okay. Wow, you guys got the Two of Cups and the Lovers. All right, this is strong energy. And we have the purple crystal and you guys got the high priestess, wow, okay. So from this person's perspective, I'm not saying that this is the case, but how this person is viewing you, they feel like you guys are destined to be together. They feel like you guys have some sort of highly spiritual connection. Um, they can't stop thinking about you. They feel like you're the one, you're the only one for them. Like very much, there's no doubt in this person's mind that you're their person. Like they're just a hundred, and I'm not saying that this is actually the case, but from their perspective, they're like, this is my person and there's, I don't need to look anywhere else, essentially. They feel such a strong connection with you. They feel a friendship, they feel a romantic connection, they feel a spiritual connection. It's like this person is seeing you as someone who the universe has specifically designed for them. And I feel like a lot of this is because they, they think about you so much. Like this person feels like they can't get you out of their head. So that's why I'm saying, I don't know if this is actually the case. This could just be like an obsession that this person has. Why is the nine of swords here? The five of swords. Mm -hmm. I think this person is afraid of sabotaging this. You know that feeling of like when something good happens and you think to yourself like, oh my gosh, I don't want to mess this up or this is too good to be true. That's how this person is viewing you. They're like, this is too good to be true. I'm gonna somehow sabotage this. I'm gonna somehow mess this up. I need to figure out how to not mess this up because they're putting this whole connection on such a huge pedestal right now. Hold on one sec. Okay, so with the Knight of Swords, I feel like this person has no problem communicating this to you. So if you haven't heard from this person, or not to say that you haven't heard from this person, but if you haven't had this person articulate to you how much you mean to them, they're gonna be doing that very soon. For a lot of you, I feel like you know this because you guys are very intuitive. I think that you and this person communicate a lot intuitively. Um, and I'm getting the sense that this person is communicating with you telepathically, so trust that. Like if you're getting telepathic signs, telepathic communication, trust that because they are saying a lot to you through that. And I feel like it's gonna be soon where you're, at, you're gonna actually hear from this person and they're gonna communicate a lot of this to you. So speaking of that, let's actually grab a message from this person and see what they wanna say. I'm working on my business, I wanna make you proud. Okay, so this person is working hard in their everyday life to make sure, again, they don't wanna mess this up. Like they're looking at you as the, you're the one, they better get their stuff together to make sure that they don't sabotage this. And see, this is what I was saying, there's no one else, only you. That's what I was saying, like I think I pretty much said that at the very beginning of this of this pile three, is like this person is sure of you, it's you. Like there's that's the one thing I was getting is like there's no one else, they see you, they love you, they know you're who they want, they don't even need to look anywhere else, and that's what they're saying, there's no one else, only you. So this person's feelings are very strong. The only thing I will say is hopefully your feelings are there too, because if not, this could come on as very strong. Um, even reading this pile, I'm just like, whoa, this is a lot. Like, this is a lot to take in. So if you guys are not there yet, 
emotionally that it may feel like this person's a bit smothering but if you guys feel the same way then i do see you having something long term with this person okay um so that's what i have for you guys so i hope this resonated all right if you want to book something personal my information is down below in the description box all right but i'm sending you absolute love and light and i wish you all of the best on your journeys take care